Hi everyone, this is Court. In this video, I will show you how to solve rule of 3 and square root calculation with the Seiko SNA 411. So, for our first example on the, the rule of 3, let's say I have uh, 69 divided by 4.7 equals a number divided by 5.3. So first you align the 69 on the slide ruler bezel with uh, the 4.7 on the dial. So here 4.7 with uh, 69 and then you check 5.3, 5.3, it's aligned with around 78 or 79. So this gives you an approximation that uh, the answer is around 80 or a little bit less at uh, 78. And if you align the numbers very well, you will see that you get uh, a little bit before 78. So the real answer is 77.81. So now let's try uh, square root calculations. So let's say I want to calculate the square root of uh, 576. Don't forget that the numbers on the bezel and the ruler can be any number you want. For example, 60 can be 6 or 600, 6000 and so on. So here we have uh, 55, which is uh, 550. So 576 is right here. So here we check always the 10 on the bezel. You check which number is aligned on the dial. It's 10. And then you check the 576. Which number? It's close to 55. So 10 is not close to 55. So you move the bezel until you get the same number. So here the 10 is aligned with 12. And check 576 is close to 50 or 40. So it's not. It's not quite good. So you move it. Here the 10 is aligned with the 16. So 10 and 16. And then check 576. Here is close to 36, 37. So 37 and 16 is not close. So now let's align the 10 with the 20. So 576 on the dial is around 29. So 29 and 20 are not that close. So we still move the bezel. Now the 10 is aligned with 22. So 576 is close to 26. We're getting there. Now let's try 23. Here we get at around 25. And then I align the 10 with 24. And the 576 on the dial is aligned with 24 on the, be the bezel. So 24 on both sides, so the result is 24. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and rate and also check SecoSNA411.com for more information on this watch. So thanks again, bye.